Line is the path left by a moving point. For example, a pencil or a brush dipped in paint. A line can vary in thickness, length and direction to convey different qualities. Lines can be curved or straight. Can you think of how to describe any others? You might have said scribbled or dashed or looped. Whenever we start a drawing, we tend to use line to show what we're doing. To draw a face, we might outline the face, add in the eyes, nose, mouth and hair. And most of that is usually done with a line. Here we can see artist Leonardo da Vinci creating a realistic portrait of a lady's face. Kathy Colwitz makes a slightly less realistic, more harshly lined portrait. Moving on, we can see that Jackson Pollock uses line in a whole different way, very crazy and erratic and splish and splashed. Peter Doig uses line over his drawings of trees. Here we see line in a crazy op art way, which means an optical illusion. Can you see how the lines make it look like it's moving? And then we have Jean Davis using line straight lines in different colours. All these artists are exploring line. A line can be straight. A line can be curvy. A line can loop around over and over. A line can be dashed. You can also have a dashed, curved or looped line. A line can be dotted. Lines can change depending on what you use to create them. I can press hard with a pencil and get a hard line and light with a pencil and get a light line. Can you see how the zigzag is darker and then lighter? Let me show you again with a curved line. I'm pressing very lightly now and then back to hard. You can even explore how you hold your pencil. If you hold it upright and don't lean on the page, you get a very erratic line. Even controlled scribbles are considered lines. Dots and dashes can be irregular. That means they are always changing. There is no repeat pattern. You can change the thickness of a line by turning your pencil on its side. To explore a line today, you can use any materials you have at home. If you have some paint, then you can use it. Here I have a little bit of watered down acrylic paint. I also have my trusty pencil, a biro, a marker pen, and anything that you have lying around that could be straight. Here I have a kebab stick, and a lollipop stick. You could even use some string. You'll also need some strips of cut up paper and some glue. And of course, you'll also need your sketchbook or a piece of paper. Let's get warmed up. Start with a line, any line will do. I'm going for a loopy loopy line. Next. Cut out some small strips of any paper you have at home. This exercise is a bit like the exercise we did last week when we did our paper weaving, except this time we're using them to show our understanding of line. You can have as many or as few as you want and they can be any length and any colour. When you're happy with the layout, you can put glue on the back and stick them down. 
you have to remember here is we're not creating a picture of something, for example, a dog, a cat, or your grandma. We're just exploring line. If you are going to use paint, remember to protect the area you're working in and to protect your clothes. If you don't have access to paint, don't worry, you can use felt tips or colouring pencils to create the same effect. I've used acrylic paint mixed with a little bit of water. You could even use wall paint mixed with a bit of water or poster paints. You're going to need a piece of string as well. I would say the same length as the length of your paper. Cut the string and place the rest of it to one side. Making sure your working area is protected, coil up the string and dip it into your paint. You will be getting messy fingers with this. Move the paint to one side and then start to press your string on your paper. Don't worry if it makes a bit of a mess. This is all about exploring. Your string should already have quite a bit of paint on it, so see what you can do with it. If you stretch it out and lay it across the page, what kind of marks will it make? Will it be a straight line? Will it be a dashed line? Dip your string back into your paint. Be careful with your painty fingers, you don't want to get fingerprints on it. See if you can loop the string around and push down on it. This might look like a loopy line. What happens if I pull the string from side to side and rub it over the paper? Using a kebab stick or a lollipop stick or even a cotton bud, you can start to create different types of line. I'm using the flat end of a lollipop stick to create a dotted line. Now I'm using a kebab stick, the less sharp end, and I'm creating a dashed line. Using a paintbrush or a mixing spoon, which is what I'm using, you can coat the lollipop stick in paint and then press it down on the page in order to create a very strong, thick line. Leave the work to dry, then you can use a pencil or biro to make some new lines. Think about your line being a pathway that's travelling across the page. You can even try out a felt tip or marker pen in order to create some new travelling lines. Refer back to the very first page with all the different types of lines and see if you can make straight lines, dashed lines, dotted lines, zigzag lines. Have fun!